Hello everyone! Welcome to Cornflower Crafts. I'm joined today by someone that most of you all know and um, his mug will give him away. Ooh, it's handsome. Wink! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and we are taking part in the open collab that is hashtag Tea Tuesday and our hostesses are Kathy and Patty. Kathy's channel name is Kathy's Favorite Things and Patty's channel name is Life with Patty. And you know when I do join in I'm usually on my own but I have Handsome here with me today and I asked him I said honey would you like to take part in this open collab? And he didn't hesitate. Right I said, away. That would be terrific. <laughs> you knew it was coming, guys. You knew it. You knew it. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? Mr. You. Mr. Hambone. <laughs> you should see. He's full of beans because he has this smile on his face that I told him, I said, baby, you got to be nice now. <laughs> He's got this mischievous little smile. You know what I'm saying? Have you all ever seen that on your significant other where they've got that smile where you're like, uh-oh. Probably. Probably you Probably. think so. Well, we would like to uh, invite you all to join us for a tea party. We have fake cake. We have fake cupcakes. We have fake sugar cookies that are decorated. And we have fake uh, meringues. Okay. But the conversation is real. The con <laughs> That's right. That's very true. Now, for us, um, I do need to let you all know that the day before yesterday was Handsome's birthday. And I'm 21 years young. Um, a long time ago. But... <laughs> okay, three years ago. Three years. <laughs> they can't see anything of yours, honey. They're just... Let's do... Let's Three let's try to ago. be entertaining. Today. Three years ago. Speaking of that, this was given to me by Katamia, um, who is Paper Confessions with Katamia here on YouTube, and I will list. Does she make that? No, she goes to thrift stores, and oh. she gets these jars, and I mean sometimes they're oh. huge, and they're full of jewelry, older jewelry, newer jewelry, all kinds, and. Um, this is the length of a necklace, but each one of these beads is a magnet. Oh! So I can do that. How cool is that? Oh, that is pretty cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I know. So thank you, Katamia. And um, today I am drinking, I didn't have any chocolate syrup. Oh. I'm, we're toasting you all for joining us. Mm. Mine is almond milk. I don't have any chocolate syrup, therefore it doesn't taste as good. <laughs> We're gonna fix that. But I will give Han some credit here. He was super sweet. He said, honey, I will get in the car and go get you some chocolate syrup. I said, it's all good. You don't have to do that. But wasn't that nice of him to offer? I thought it was sweet. So I told Hanson when we do this, we drink, we don't have to have tea, we drink anything, and we talk. And he kind of looked at me like, what are we talking about? <laughs> okay, um, I can bring up one thing. I'm still working on the small journal. That is my next giveaway. And um, Handsome comes in periodically, and he has seen sections of it. So far, so good. Yes, I think it's looking looking real good. Okay. Looking good. I'll pay you later, honey. I'll give you okay. that fiber. Okay. You can pay me and count chocolate. How about if you say it's gorgeous? Say it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, honey, you don't have to say and that. And did that thing with <laughs> some paper and go frayed knots. Frayed knots? Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Frayed fabric? Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And it was, I was afraid of getting it wrong. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> I did. Now, you're thinking of French knots, which is embroidery. Now, you were saying the other day, and you said, 
I had to fry this thing, and then yes. when I glue it away, it does this thing, so I have to knot it. I was explaining to him something that when I show it, you know, for when I do the video for the giveaway, um, when I frayed the muslin, I, you know what I mean, some of the, of the frayed section got glued on, and some of it did not. And when I did a pocket over it and tried to put things in it, it was um, bunching up against the frayed section. So I had to go back in, or I had to redo something. And I'll, I'll show you when, when I show the, the small journal. I'm real tickled, you know me, it started out like this, it's getting fatter and fatter. But you know, I think personally, a lot of people don't like that and um, not a lot, but I think some people don't like it, but I do to have all those goodies inside. But a lot of the goodies, I went ahead and did paper clips or, or something to where they could be taken out to if, if the winner's like, ew, I don't want that, so. You know, or they want it, but maybe not in the journal. You know what I'm no, saying? I got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying, baby? You made a journal for me, it had stuff in it, and then you were like, are you going to write in it? And I was like, no, because that's your art. And I was disappointed because I made it for him to write in. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, it's like if you painted something and then you said, here's some Crayolas, just crayon over it. No, I would never do that. No. But I left you a lot of space to write in because you know Handsome is a very nice and a very good writer. And um, he's published, actually, and uh, for his work, not for, you know, not for fun stuff. Which, actually, I have read and I have his short stories, and they are fun. They're fun. Because he takes you on one journey and then you find out it's another journey. It's fun. They're fun. I like them. And that's not because I love him. I mean, I'm, I can be, um, I can, I can critique stuff. Okay, I'll give you five dollars later. I want ten. Can I have ten? Ten. I'll okay. write, I'll write you a check. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I want the cash. I mean, shh, we're supposed to be whispering. Oh, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. I want the cash. Okay. <laughs> so, who made that tea for you? Actually, oddly enough, it comes from three sources. Okay, we'll explain. So, initially, this was a picture of tea that you made. Mm hmm. I got it down to about half, and then when I went to work, we have an instant tea maker machine. Mm hmm. So, I bring a cup of that home and I pour it in there. Yes. And then we went out yesterday to the restaurant thing and they let me take some tea home mm -hmm. with some lemon juice in it, so that's in there too. So three teas. Three, three different sources. Three different sources of tea. And is it delicious? The lemon thing was, <laughs> might not have been the right decision. <laughs> might have been a mistake. Yeah. That's, um, <laughs> before that it was working. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was just working so good. <laughs> So, what have you been up to as of late? I'm sure our subscribers are interested in what you're doing. They know what I'm doing, and they also know I'm working on the house and stuff. So, what did, are you, what did you do the other day? Did you mow the lawn? I did mow the lawn, which brings me up to two topics I want to talk about. Uh-oh. Leaves. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. This time of the year. They are. And also, the decision between... Should you mold them up and mulch them, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. should you rake them up? There's been no straight answer from the leaf scientist about that. No. Well, some scientists literally would tell you that if you mow over them, of course you probably have to get your blade sharpened, but you're mulching them, and leaves are great for um, the yard and for gardens actually. Some will tell you no, rake them up, <clears throat> excuse me, put them, rake them all up, put them on the garden, put something over them so that they will, you know, get all dis disintegrate and stuff like that into the soil and that's, that's a natural fertilizer. And then when I plant the garden, Later that month, the bunnies will come and be like, it's the lion shots. They do. They do. I have to say this. We have, um, we have more bunnies this year, I think, than we've had since we've been here. 
Lots. Math. Yep. They must be mathematicians because they <laughs> multiply. <laughs> They've been multiplying. But I tell you one thing, when we see a little baby that you could hold in your hand, they are the sweetest things. Even you have to say, that is a cute critter. Even you say that. Mm -hmm. I say, ate all my plants, but yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Well, what happens is when Handsome goes out and plants, we don't have a fence up around the garden. So they get in there when they're, you know, because when they're first planted and they're just growing just a little bit, they're tender. It, they're tender and really delicious. So that's why the bunnies do that. And I had to tell him, you know, I should be like him because he'll come in and say, they even ate your flowers. They're, you know, your flowers were coming up and they ate them. He said, I've, you can actually see them, watch them, eat them. And I was like, well, honey, that's because whatever they want to do, they can do. <laughs> Somebody is hashtag Team Bunny. <laughs> and I know I should be supportive and say, oh, handsome, honey, I'm so sorry that you're eat they're eating your stuff and, and my stuff, but you know what? They're so precious, and we, we really, I... They're my, you know, my favorite critter. Handsome's favorite critter is an owl. And I have saved one of the bunnies from an owl that came to visit. Um, oh, yes, there's a video for that somewhere. I, no, I took it down because... He was right outside the window. It looked like he was two feet tall. He was huge. The owl was huge. And the bunny was right under the window. This is at nighttime, of course. And the bunny was right under the window, and I had um, taken out the, my phone because the bunny at nighttime, you know, yeah. I thought this is so sweet. And I happened to look up, and there's a a very large owl getting ready to do something. He's, I mean, I know it's nature, but I don't think so. I freak out, so instead of me being calm and and you know shoo shoo or something like that, I hit. And we are in an older home too, and um, I love it that the glass is old, but I mean, I hit that window so hard, it scared him and he flew off and it scared my bunny too. So the bunnies got a little scared of me, but I was like, I'd rather save your life and have you scared of me than have that owl have you, so. But we've had raccoons visit, and we're in town, we're not even in the country. Raccoons, owls, Possum. possums, deer, which scared us because we were no, like, that's true. yeah, we were like, you need to get out of where the roads are. You don't need to be here. But they got out safe and sound, thank God. Um, Your favorite chipmunks. We got, oh, we have tons of chipmunks. But we, we have a skunk that visits. We haven't seen, but we have smell. We have never seen him. But when we, we don't have AC in the summer, but <laughs> so we open, in the evenings, we open up. Um, a few windows and we have window fans and uh, we'll, we'll awaken in the middle of the night like whoa he came to visit and he left his calling car and we were like oh mercy and out comes the fans and down comes the window <laughs> yeah we suspect we think he climbs up to the second story <laughs> and does it right outside the window well I think what's happening is it gets scared you know, something happens when he's hanging out in our yard and said, scares no, no him. More scene, no more scene. And, and he's can... like, hey, hey, don't be bothering on me now. So I'm gonna make sure. But we really don't mind. That's a smell that, I mean, it's strong and stuff, but we don't mind. It's, it's a bad. natural thing. You know what I'm saying? What we don't like are the chemical things. And, and I'll be honest with you, there's some perfumes I don't like. And, Febreze. And, oh, handsome hates Febreze. <laughs> y'all are going to tell me, I'm sure y'all are going to tell me in the comments below, hey, this is a good scent, or that's a good scent with I'd, Febreze. I'd rather have the stink, honestly. Yes, I, I know have. you would. Febreze makes me nervous. He has very sensitive sense of smell. I do. Yeah, and uh, Febreze just, ooh. Just doesn't scent <laughs> right. We don't use, uh, we use um, scent-free um, dryer sheets and, and all that kind of stuff. Honey, I know you're sitting behind the camera, but they can't see your hand I'm at all. I'm trying to reach out once in a while and go, like, <laughs> like from the Adams but family. But they can't, there you go, there you go, now they can see you. That's why I sit once in a while, <laughs> kind of sucks. <laughs> sip, sip. 
Which is interesting because I've never seen this man take a tiny sip before in my life. That's a tea party. Oh, that's right. I learned from that and Abby when they're like... That's right. One of my dreams I've had for years and years is to have a, a store where you live upstairs, you know, and downstairs the tea rooms. Wouldn't that be fun? And if the ladies who come in, if they want to wear hats and everything when they come in and, and have tea, and of course this stuff would be real. I do bake. Um, mm -hmm. I don't bake like I used to because we're trying to be good. <laughs> we misbehaved for your birthday, though, didn't we? Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We had. I had some. You're a good baker, that's for sure. Thank you, honey. He has said that for you. Well, here's the thing, too. If I make, I used to always try to make new stuff, and if I would make something new each year, you know, for for the gang to try, um, Hanson would let me know. You know, he'd say, if you want to make this again, I'm fine with that. And this is going to surprise you because it surprised me. There's a cookie where you um, take the hard um, peppermint candy and oh, bash yeah. it. You know, hit it. I hit it with my, I put it in a Ziploc bag. And then I take a rolling pin. Uh-oh, got a little coffee going on there. Shouldn't have sipped. Uh-oh, you're, you're not used to it went down the wrong pipe, oh poor darling. And um, I just take it and hit it and I made this. It's a, the cookie itself isn't that sweet. So the candy kind of stands out. And he was like, oh, these are great. It shocked me. I thought he was gonna be like, what is that? Cause he loves chocolate so much, you know? He, yeah. To be fair, you had a chocolate cookie, so. I was like peppermint chocolate. Oh. So it worked, it worked out. Oh, I see. There's why. There's always a reason, isn't there? <laughs> Just mix them up. So you mowed the lawn. You also did some stuff on the house. And then he brought up, he said, today let's go ahead and do, we're, we have some shrubs and trees and stuff that we trim up at this time of the year. And uh, I did some trimming on the shrubs, uh, their initial, I guess you'd say, the other day. But... He needs to get out this heavier. It's like, yeah, it's heavier. I did it by hand. You know, that was me. But um, he's getting out this heavier piece, and uh, but it is extremely windy out. And I was like, mm, let's let's do it another time. I just hope it blows the leaves out of the yard, not into the yard. <laughs> that happens. That happens, our neighbors have this huge tree. And um, a lot of times we look out back and we're like, go that way, wind, go that way, don't bring it in. No, exactly. <laughs> but that doesn't usually work, does it? No, it does not. It worked, it worked <laughs> one year, one. That's it. Well, sugar pie, we've told them we're both working outside and in. <laughs> it's 18 minutes, can you believe that? No, I don't. No. I went by, I was just like, but Time flies when you're talking to your subbies, doesn't it? And sipping. And sipping. Sipping, takes sipping with subbies. <laughs> oh, that's good. Sipping subbies. And we'd like to thank y'all. Uh oh, he's really sipping. <laughs> yeah, we'd so like bad. to thank y'all for joining us today. And we hope you have a wonderful morning, morning afternoon, afternoon, or, or evening. evening. Bye bye, everybody. Take good care.